Hey everybody, it's Aaron with Robert, and we are back with one of our segments that I love to do. And we're changing it up just a little bit, and yep. it is this right here, cereal is a soup? Cereal is a, not a soup. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> he almost I did. almost did. He almost did. Almost it's the name of our segment. Uh, but this is the show where one of us will drop an opinion. It might be controversial or it might not. That's kind we're of our changing thing is we're just going to say this is an opinion show. Mm -hmm. So we're going to drop an opinion that we have that may or may not be popular. And then we're going to talk about it. We might agree. We might disagree. Um, and we want to hear what your thoughts are on this particular topic. So, Aaron, I think you have yes. our topic for this week. Yes. With Batman being a big thing this week. Well, yeah. Um, we'll get go into watch that. our we'll podcast. We'll get into that on Talking Geek. Yeah. yeah. Go watch our listen. podcast. Listen, listen, listen to that. Listen yeah. to that. Yeah. Batman okay. is not as great as everybody says he is. He is probably one of the worst heroes, I want to say. I'm going to put it th not the worst, but he's... He's like mediocre. Okay. So I always, I, I keep seeing this argument and this is what finally got me like upset about it. Okay. Basically everything is Batman can win at PS prep time. Batman wins the PS prep time. And there was a thing that we were talking about in another group I'm in mm -hmm. and it was about, you know, Superman, who would win? Superman this person. And they were talking about like these, like a superpower beatdown yeah. essentially. And every one of them that was a Batman fanatic was like, oh, well, Batman wins because he's going to prep for it. And I was like, I even commented, I was like, so if we're giving Batman prep time, you have to give Superman prep time, Spider-Man prep time, all these other guys who are in some parts of the universe almost smarter than him, or just as smart, maybe even some of them. But they're not so, the world's greatest detective. Okay, you're a detective. What's that going to do in the middle of a freaking gun <laughs> battle? Hmm, that bullet came from a... <laughs> came from Go ahead, a finish, finish your thoughts. So, yeah, okay. you know, if you give them prep, to him prep time, you have to give these other characters prep time, too, okay. in order to win. Oh, no, no, Batman should just you always have prep time. No, that was literally their argument. And I'm like, no, if I give Batman prep time and he's fighting Spider-Man, I give Spider-Man that same prep time. And guess what? It almost negates each other because Spider-Man is one of the top five smartest people in Marvel. And now he's going against yeah. what? I think Batman isn't the smartest in DC. I think he's up there, though. Well, I think, number one, I think you have to differentiate between the type of smart. So, like... Captain America is one of the best strategists. Yes. And so, like, Batman versus Captain America, where they both have the same amount of prep time, like, they're both going to strategize the crap out of that. Oh, yeah. To try and outthink one another. I'm not as familiar... Like, Spider-Man isn't necessarily... Like, his intelligence more lies in, you know, technology, science... Chemistry, engineering... Figuring things out. Yes. And, and so, I don't know it's the same type of intelligence, so that doesn't mean Batman would win the fight. And so this is what I'll say. Yeah. When you are saying that Batman is overrated, my question to you is, are you saying the character of Bruce Wayne slash Batman is an overrated character by the fandom, which I think is what you're saying, mm -hmm. or are you saying that that character is just like an overrated character and not interesting and shouldn't be part of the Justice League and, you know, all those things? Yeah. Like what? Because this is where I want to differentiate what exactly you're saying. That is a good point. I guess it would be the fandom. Okay. Because I think when we write the comics... And because I think because would... Batman stands stand for Batman. Yeah. Like, they they go, Batman would win every fight, and Batman's the best, and none of the other heroes can match Batman. And, Batman. Yeah. and like, don't get me wrong, I love Batman. Well, yeah, He's my favorite superhero. But that... I don't believe yeah. that Batman is the best superhero. He's yeah. my favorite superhero, <laughs> exactly. but that is a complete difference. I don't think he's the best. Yeah. I think he's messed up mentally. Oh, God, yes. Very We've talked up. about that. Um, I also think that he doesn't have powers. No. He relies on gadgets. He relies on intelligence, and he is very intelligent. Yeah. Like, he... There's a reason he can go toe to toe with all of these villains and with super powered individuals. Yeah. There's a reason he can do that. But I agree with you. You know, like the the famous one is Batman and Superman, right? Yeah. And, and people always say like Batman and Superman if they had a fight, you know, well, you know, oh Batman could take Superman. And I always in my brain I go could is different than would. Yeah. And so, like, if it's Batman like, and Superman fought on a thousand different timelines, mm -hmm. Batman wins one, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you yeah. know, like, well, Superman generally yeah. would defeat Batman. And, this is, and I'm a Batman fan. Yeah. And I know, you, I think we said this before, it's always up to the writer. Let's face it. The writer's going to write that's how true. he wants, and he's going to let who he wants to win, win. Sure. And I think I like the one line that's canon in Batman, where he's 
trying to fight Superman, and all the superheroes are looking at him because they're like, you have a plan to take down every superhero, Batman. What are we going to do to take down Superman? And he's like, I can't do it because he is literally faster than me, stronger than me. He could, like, literally throw us all into the sun whenever he wants to. Mm Mm-hmm. There's nothing I can do as a mortal man. I cannot stop Batman. He's or Superman. He's even yeah. said I cannot beat Superman. I can slow him sure. down until like Wonder Woman or someone else gets yeah. here, but I cannot defeat Superman. Well, I'm, I mean, even his plan for defeating someone like Green Lantern is to affect his confidence. Yeah, and and affect his emotional state. Yeah, like it's not like I. He knows he can't beat him in a fist fight if they're no. both at full power. No. Like, that's that's never Batman's plan. And so... Batman never goes in there head first. No. It's always about stealth. So so Batman is extremely smart. He He's is. extremely calculating. Mm-hmm. He would try and put himself in the best position. But, yeah, if you said... Um, and this I'm going to steal this from an, uh, a podcast that I listen to called uh, The Weekly Planet. It's a really great pl- uh, podcast. Um, and they do this thing where they, they do, like, a segment that's, like, a uh, superhero showdown. And they basically, like... You know, people email in just two random superheroes, and their rules are they show up at the opposite ends of a football field immediately oh, and with with their their normal, normal gadgets. whatever gadgets yeah. they have, their their normal equipment that they, whatever they have, and they immediately identify the other person as a threat. Yeah, and then it's who would win, right? And so if you did that, like almost all the time, right? It's like you know, and so it's like okay, Punisher versus Batman. Neither of them are powered, but guess what? Punisher is going to be lethal. Batman is going to be non-lethal. So you know who's going to win that fight? Punisher. Because oh, Punisher is yeah. going to take that Especially shot. Especially when you say, like, whatever they normally have, he has a rifle on him. Yeah. Okay, and I'm a marksman from the military. I'm going to shoot you. Not that gangster guy who's trying to hold his gun sideways. He's going to miss. Right. Punisher is going to be like, yeah, yeah I'll just so, know where you're going to So do. in that scenario, yeah. Batman's not going to win most fights. No. Now, in the scenario of... You know, in the comics where he might have prep time, where he might have all those things, where he's making a plan. Like, yeah, Batman's going to have more of a chance and he's going to he's gonna think a way to not have a fight. Right. Because he knows he can't win fights against super-powered individuals. Yeah, he can't can. beat up Wonder Woman. Like, no. he knows that. And no. so he's never going to try. His plan to neutralize her isn't to fight her. No. That's not Batman's plan. Exactly. So, so what I will say is that I agree with you. Batman fans go a little bit overboard oh, yeah. in how much they go Batman would win everything. And I've said it, but I say it jokingly. I yeah. go like, oh, Batman would always win. Well, no, Batman's not going to always win. No. I love Batman. I think he's an incredibly interesting character. I think exploring the darkness that is who makes Batman who he is yeah. is super interesting. And he's totally messed up in the head. And I like exploring that character. Yeah. But that doesn't mean he's the best superhero because I don't think that. He's my favorite. He's not the best. And I think that's the thing. Like, there's so many different heroes out there. None of them are the best. Because there's always going to be somebody that can defeat them. But it doesn't mean that they're better. It just means that they're they're not up to the par of that superhero. Like, I love Spider-Man. I know if I throw him against Silver Surfer, Silver Surfer's going to kill him in a heartbeat. Because he could literally just take him up to his face and hold him in until his, he runs out of hair. Or, you know, his head explodes. Sure. Whichever would happen first. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. I just, every time I get into these talks with these Batman fanatics <laughs> or they do these beatdowns and all this stuff, Batman's going to win, Batman's going to I'm like, I don't, yeah. I don't get it. And I've even told a couple of them, like, guys, you realize, okay, it's, you know, the I always go with Spider-Man versus Batman because it's one of my favorite death battles, actually. Sure. And it's because they even say Batman's greatest strength is stealth, and spider senses beat stealth because you could never hit him. And they're like, oh, well, you know, some of these guys land punches on Spider-Man. I'm like, yes, the ones who land punches on Spider-Man also have super speed that match Spider-Man's speed. Right. But when he's in a hand-to-hand combat with a normal human, no powers, right. he dodges their punches and kicks all day long. Because he can use his spider sense to know where they're going to throw the punch and kicks and dodges all of them. Right. And then one of them was like, oh, well, Batman will tap into his spider sense. How does he know about the spider sense? Oh, I gave him prep time. Okay, Spider-Man has the same amount of prep time. He knows, Batman knows about his spider sense. And he could build something, because he's an engineer too, like Tony Stark, to block Batman from going into his spider senses and messing with it. He literally could build something. Or like Spider-Man that. would just hack Bruce Wayne's account and <laughs> drain all <laughs> his drain all his funds. And yeah, I mean, like he just comes in there in a suit, all the billions of dollars sticking out of it. Yeah. What'd you do, Spidey? I took all your money. 
Now I'm no longer the poor boy. <laughs> so I, around. again, I think we're on the same page yeah. here, um, which is that Batman and his abilities are overrated by the fans. Yes, um, I'll give you that. As a character, I don't think he's overrated. I think he is a great character. I think all uh, he's got a ton of great stories. He's got a great rogues he gallery. Just he's, needs to stop recruiting young Robins and I'm, getting them killed by crowbars. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason that <laughs> we've never had a live-action Robin who's <laughs> who is not 25, right? That's true. Um, because you can't really tell that story. There's a reason in the Captain America movie they made Bucky an adult yeah. and not, you know, a 12 year old kid. Because exactly. you can't bring a 12 year old kid into World War II. Why not? Um, and there are reasons. <laughs> I'm not going to get into them here. Um, but again, I think right. we agree yeah. that Batman, as a character, is is very he's interesting. Yes. Um, is a lot of people's favorites, and he's allowed to be your favorite. But that doesn't mean that he would win every fight. Yeah, he um, won't win every fight. Because most of them, he actually... Again, if you just dropped him in a fight, he's not going to win that fight. No. Um, even in the famous The Dark Knight storyline where he defeats Superman, uh, he doesn't actually defeat Superman. That's not what happens. He just slows um, Superman down with a kryptonite arrow shot by Green Arrow. Correct. That's basically all he did. And fakes his own death. <laughs> right like and then superman regains his strength by flying up to the sun like so he doesn't beat superman in the famous example of batman beating superman he actually doesn't beat superman and he had help yeah and batman was so upset that he couldn't win he just faked his death I know. yeah i couldn't beat him guys but I, it's because i died on the battlefield i yeah. just uh... so so anyway guys anyway let us know down below yeah. too anything you have an opinion about that maybe you want us to hear us talk about or well, I want to know, to our Batman stands out there, and I oh. love Batman, I want to know, prove us wrong. Tell us why. In the comments, okay. tell us why we are wrong. Because even as the Batman fan, I can't tell Aaron he's wrong about this. So if you think that Aaron's wrong and you think I'm wrong, drop it down in the comments. Let us know. Um, this is going to be our new format for Series of the Soup. We're going to talk about... A topic that one of us has an opinion on, it may or may not be controversial, this week I think is a little bit of both. Yeah, I think that it'll probably be controversial to the people that love Batman, and everyone else that's not like that will go, yeah, obviously. Yeah, right? (laughs) It's like, obviously that's how it works. But yeah, let us know all that down below, and of course, like I said, any opinions you want us to talk about that you have that maybe we were like, hey, this sounds cool, let's talk about it. You know, and of course, where you stand on that opinion, because it'd be cool to read your thing here. You know, we could insert it right here somewhere. For sure. So on that note, guys, this is Aaron. This is Robert. And this is Get Your Geek On. Cereal is a soup. Have a good one. It's not, though. It's not a soup. <laughs> it is. It is a soup. Let me just go tuck her in real quick. Okay. Yeah, you're good.